Hello dear students, today we will discuss about pollution and pollution control process in tanneries and its impact to public health and effluent discharge standards. We all know tannery is a place where the skins are processed, that is animal skins are treated for human use. Leather tanning is a wide common industry all over the world, one of the most important industries in Mediterranean countries. Due to complex waste care, leather tanneries are generally located in so-called organized industrial districts. What do you mean by complex waste care? What do you understand by complex waste care? You know that a tanning industry is known to be very polluting especially through effluents high in organic and inorganic dissolved and suspended solid contents. Tannery processing and contaminant load. The production of fresh hides has been estimated at about 8 to 9 million tons per year. During the processing of these hides, a total of 1.4 million tons of solid waste is produced. Hides means what? Hides are animal skins treated for human use. And we already saw common commercial hides include leathers from cattle and livestock animals, buck skin, alligator skin, snake skin, etc. Tannery wastewater is slightly alkaline in nature, ranging between a pH value of 7.5 to 8.5. We know that a pure water is, what is the water, pH value of water, pure water, you know. It is neither acidic nor basic and it has a pH value of 7. Treatment stage in tannery industry. Primary treatment. In order to carry out effluent treatment in, in the most effective manner, flow segregation is useful to allow preliminary treatment of concentrated wastewater streams where segregation of flow is possible through mixing of chrome bearing effluents and other effluent streams improves the efficiency of the effluent treatment plant. You know why is it so? This is because the chromium tends to precipitate out with the protein during pre-treatment. Sludge dewatering. The sludge drawn from the bottom of the tank is in the form of slurry with a dry solid content of only 2 to 4 percentage. For further handling and disposal of sludge, it is necessary to reduce drastically the water content. And for its evacuation, we can use special pumps and usually of monotype pumps are used for its evacuation. This is usually achieved by thickening in sludge thickness, mechanical dewatering in filter process, natural drying in sludge drying buds. National and International Standards of Tannery Industry Solid and liquid waste are the inevitable byproducts of the leather industry process which cause significant pollution unless treated prior to discharge. In addition to power and mechanical chemical requirements, the key parameters for equipment selection is the achievable, selection is achievable dry matter content in the dewatered sludge. In most cases, liquid waste is discharged into sewage systems. Effluent discharge standard limits are set by the authorities for complaints by industries in order to protect the environment. Where it undertakes, you know, where it undertakes full-scale treatment before being returned to the surface waters. And last we will see some common pollutants and their sources and how they affect the effects, affect the human health. And here pollutant, salt, dust, hair, soot and these pollutants are produced during fleshing, dehairing, soaking, washing process. It can cause cancer, aggravates respiratory and health diseases, is toxic at high level causes, coughing, irritates throat and causes chest discomfort. Next is H2S, hydrogen sulfate, decomposition waste, liming, during liming and pickling process, it produces, has unpleasant odor, nausea, irritates and throat, 
and if toxic at high level and next is chromium and chrome during chrome tanning mainly affect on skin and respiratory system including mucous membrane irritation sensitization erosion <coughs> dermatitis and chrome ulceration can cause cancer also and ammonia mainly delin batting in flame upper respiratory passages sulfuric acid during pickling process and chrome tanning process aggravates respiratory diseases impaired breathing and irritates eye and respiratory tract and arsenic during tanning process arsenic is produced and the break blood cells in blood damaged kidneys cause jaundice and next is nitrous nitrogen oxide in nose tanning polishing and finishing process uh, it produced and aggravates respiratory and heart diseases irritates lungs affects respiratory systems when do we all know breathing polluted air puts to at a higher risk for asthma and other respiratory diseases and when exposed to ground ozone for 6 to 7 years 7 hours scientific evidence show that healthy people's lung function decreased and they suffered from respiratory inflammation and finally effects of industrial pollution are vast in short we can say effects of industrial pollution are vast causing water contamination toxins release of toxins into soil and uh, and the air and it is the cause of some of the most significant environmental disasters of all time thank you